October is the month which is dedicated to spread awareness about breast cancer. I'm Dr. Purnendra. As a surgeon from Genesis Hospital, I've taken this pledge that I will do my part of the job of spreading this awareness after uploading this video on breast cancer. What about you? You have also got women in the family, mothers, sisters, sister-in-law, aunt, several people. They're all equally susceptible. We talk about women empowerment. You also should do your part of the job. Subscribe to this channel. Spread it among your friends, relatives, and all the women that you are in touch with. Let's all try to understand what is this cancer breast? Why is it increasing such a number? How we will recognize symptoms, signs? How are we going to diagnose it? And if so, how are we going to treat it? And is it really that scary? I'll quickly tell you two short stories. One of my close friend, a surgeon, one day came crying to me that my mother has been detected with a very advanced cancer breast and every person I'm trying to tell, they are cursing me that you are a surgeon, you didn't know your mother got cancer breast? And he was howling and saying, how am I supposed to know whether my mother has got a breast lump or not? So what's the point to be noted? That awareness has to be developed among women that they should not neglect certain things. The second story I wanted to tell you people is, at 12.30 in the night, I got a phone call from a man. He said, my wife has got a small ulcer in her right breast and it's bleeding a lot. So I was very surprised, 12.30 in the night, an ulcer bleeding a lot. So I said, do a dressing, come tomorrow to my chamber. She arrived in my chamber. I removed the dressing and this is what I saw a fungating, advanced mass, foul-smelling, bleeding from everywhere. And this lady I asked, how long you have got this? She said, for two years. Is this the situation of awareness? That you have such an ulcer which is bleeding, smelling, and you just cover it up. And she was leading a normal life, going and shopping, attending movies and everywhere and doing this. So today we will try and understand from the beginning about cancer breast. First question arrives, is it familial? If my mother or my aunt had cancer breast, am I at a higher risk? Yes, if there is a family incidence of breast cancer, the next generations are got at a higher risk because gene has been detected BRCA1 and 2 gene. This increases the risk of breast cancer in the family. So what are the symptoms that a lady should look for? Uh, we recommend that after the age of 20 or 25, each lady should do self-examination. While having your daily bath applying soap, you're supposed to do examination because this is a susceptible area. Stand in front of the mirror. First, look at both sides, whether there is any difference in shape of the breast. If there is any inversion or puckering of the nipple, if there is any change in any area of the skin thickness or a color change or redness, sometimes the skin gives an appearance of orange peel, it's called pont d'orange appearance, if the malignancy or cancer is infiltrating up to the skin. If there is any glands in the axillary area, many people might present with breast discomfort and also nodes or glands in the axilla, or if there is any discharge which is blood stained from the nipple. If any of these things are present, then these are reasons to be concerned and to reach to the doctor or the hospital immediately for establishment of diagnosis. So to establish the diagnosis, what are the tests or investigations that we are going to do? If there is a nipple discharge, which is blood stain, that has to be studied under the microscope to look for if there is any malignant cells. If there is any lump in the breast, which is palpable, 
then it becomes simple because then we do an FNAC which is called fine needle aspiration cytology and to put the cells on the slide and see under the microscope. Now if we can't feel any lump, next possible things that can be done in a suspicion case is mammogram. Mammogram is a type of a specialized x-ray where the breast tissue is put in between two plates and the breast is squeezed from top to bottom and in another view from side to side. Now one very important aspect of mammogram is that when breast tissue is very dense in younger women uh, then it visibility and detection rate is very poor because what we look in mammogram is calcifications. Now a word of caution is that this is usually advised above the age of 35 to 40. So don't just randomly think that I have a suspicion of a breast cancer. A 25 year old girl will go into a mammogram and it will be detected. There is also another investigation which is called MRI of the breast. Now MRI of the breast also detect areas which may not be palpable with finger or examination or sometimes might not be even detected in an ultrasound examination of the breast. One more new technology has come up now from Mayo Clinic and it's called molecular breast imaging. A radio tracer is injected into the vein and this is taken up by the breast malignant cells and then in imaging these actually show up even at a very early stage and this is done at one third the cost of an MRI imaging for the breast. Once the diagnosis is established, one needs to also assess what's the stage. No, no, I don't want to make you confused between the different types of complicated staging. It basically has four stages, one, two, three, four, which actually indicates that how advanced this breast cancer is. Stage four is when it has gone distant, which is metastasizing bones or in liver or in lungs. Stage one is when it is confined and less than two centimeter and it's only in the breast and hasn't gone into the nodes and other things. Now early and late stage of cancer breast, the management and the treatment is going to be different. So once we diagnose, we also do the different types of scans or bone scan or ultrasound and CT chest x-ray to see what is the advancement of the stage? More than the stage in the tissue diagnosis, two other things one needs to look for is how aggressive is the tumor type. The cell doubling time, which means how rapidly the cells are dividing. Sometimes it has been seen that a patient with stage one breast cancer the type of cell aggressiveness is so rapid that they usually succumb to the disease and spreads everywhere. Whereas there are other types of cancer breast which are diagnosed as stage three also, but they're not that aggressive and they are sometimes hormonal sensitive because we also do a test called ER and PR status, estrogen receptor site and progesterone receptor sites because they respond very well to hormonal manipulations. Once we have established the diagnosis, once we have assessed what stage it is, let's come to treatment that what can be done. So what are the treatment options that we have? Four different types, surgery, radiotherapy, chemotherapy and hormonal therapy. So let's come to surgery. One of the commonest type of surgery that is done when breast cancer is detected is called MRM, modified radical mastectomy, in which the breast is excised, taking along with it the nodes and the glands from the axilla. So this is removal of the whole breast tissue. There is also a different type of approach which has been studied, which is conservative or breast 
preserving surgery in which there is only lumpectomy or area of the tumor which is removed and this is usually done in early stages. Next is radiotherapy. Radiotherapy has got in two different ways. One, it is called external beam radiotherapy. Uh, that can be done by different advanced methods and technologies. And there is also a thing called brachytherapy in which radioactive needles are implanted in case if we are planning to do breast preserving surgery. Radiotherapy, what it does is takes care of the loco regional area because after surgery we have removed the tumor but if there is any microscopic level some cells are left behind in that area or the axilla this area is radiated and these cells are killed the third option is chemotherapy because even though we have removed the breast tumor and maybe we have given radiation to the local regional area but still there will be some cells which could have infiltrated into the blood vessels or it could have gone into through lymphatics to a distant area where we have not covered so what chemotherapy does is the cytotoxics the medicines which kill cancer cells and they are given in cycles and there are regimes which are multi-drug regime for breast cancer chemotherapy decided by the cancer organizations and they not only kill the cancer cells they also tries to kill the replicating cells which means the bone marrow and that's why it has to be given in intervals of cycles like once in three to four weeks times over a period of six cycles and after that is hormonal therapy now if this tumor is ERPR positive, which means estrogen receptor site and progesterone receptor site, then hormonal manipulation will also take control of the disease. When it develops in postmenopausal women, anti-estrogen, that is tamoxifen tablets, they can keep the tumor in control. Now, in premenopausal women, sometimes oophorectomy, removal of the ovary, so that estrogen effect is not on the tumor. It's because it has been noticed, these cancer cells of the breast cancer, they are estrogen sensitive. And this is one reason we have also seen statistically women who attend menarche early that means period starts early and late menopause which means this is called estrogen window if there is a longer period where estrogen is acting on the breast they have a higher chance statistically to develop breast cancer and also between multiparous or nulliparous money those who have never had pregnancy so that means they had constant estrogen effect during pregnancy progesterone hormone takes over so those who have had multiple pregnancy have lesser chance of developed breast cancer compared to people who have never had pregnancy well now that you have understood the gist of breast cancer the symptoms the signs the investigations the treatment now what's your responsibility please share it with everybody tell all the women that you know tell them that if there is any suspicion you know where to go come to genesis hospital talk to dr punaindu rai subscribe my channel and let us all try that the pledge that we have taken that we will spread the awareness about breast cancer to all the women that we know thank you very much for watching and thanks for sharing